friends in this video we are going to discuss on aspects of e invoices and the reasons of e invoices which are not written in the law yesterday the gst network chairman has announced that e invoices would be coming from 1st april 2020 and the invoice registration portal is fully ready on the basis of the last 2 years data which has gone up on the gst portal on 1st july 2017 many senior people had criticized the government that the gst was implemented without checking the readiness of the gst portal and hence the comment from the gst network chairman before e invoices reconfirming that e invoices would see light of day under gst from 1st april 2020 friends till now we would have understood the larger mechanism of e invoices that the e invoice under gst would have the qr code the invoice registration number which is a 64 digit number and the digital signature of the irp however we have to understand the e invoices from the revenues point of view also to understand how we should prepare not only for e invoices but for gst as a whole in the next set of compliances we all know that now gst r1 and 3b was a stop gap arrangement because gst r2 and 3 could not see light of day and with the new returns and e invoices this would be a second era of gst compliances and we have to prepare for it holistically and not only e invoices so let us understand what are the reasons of e invoices and how we have to prepare vis-a-vis -vis what would be the expectation of revenue friends first in e era invoice e invoices era the commissioner rate would have the gst liability figure of each and every assessee on a daily basis because the moment an assessee generates an e invoices his anx 1 and liability gets updated on a real time basis and the counter party when he generates his invoices that is when your vendor will generate his e invoices your anx 2 will get updated and hence on a daily basis the commissioner rate would have got the liability figure of every assessee now also since the hsn codes inward and outward would be available with the commissioner rates on a real time basis the stock in hand business area wise would also be available with the commissioner rates we have all seen what has happened with rule 86a coming into picture there is rampant blockage of input tax credit on the basis of some mismatches which can always be explained but first the input tax credit is getting blocked by the revenue thereafter after submission of the reconciliations and explanations which sometimes are very apparent then the credit gets disblocked and in the meantime if the gstr 3b deadline comes into picture then the payment has to be made in cash sometimes in e invoicing era friends since the liability figure of every dealer would be with the commissioner rate on a daily basis and not after 40 days as it happens today we may also see the e invoicing getting blocked until and unless cash payment is made hence from here stems the gst preparedness in the gst second era of compliances one has to especially the large companies 
that the company is over 100 200 crores turnover they have to have an integrated gst solution wherein reconciliations can be made on a real time basis i will give you an example especially in the case of services in the case of goods it becomes a little more easy now the moment you have your anx1 filled up by your e invoices your vendor has also generated the e invoices but the goods or service has not been received by you but the credit shows in the anx2 and hence your liability figure is updated accordingly now on a real time basis now a reconciliation might be asked maybe ignoring the itc figures altogether at least the recent itc figures and in case the liability is huge then a real time reconciliation within one two days would be asked bearing which the e invoices may get blocked therefore an integrated gst solution is required wherein the real time reconciliation between your purchase register and the anx2 a real time reconciliation between the e invoices e way bill and the anx1 has to be done by the large assessees so as to ensure that their e invoices may not get blocked in future due to certain assumptions presumptions of certain commissionerates friends also today data analytics is a very very important wing or very important scrutiny tool available with the department we have all seen that all the notices across the country are on the basis of data analytics what are the data analytics first your supplier supplies goods to you maybe on an e invoice and you have to ensure that he pays his taxes you have to get a report on supplier analytics whether he has paid his taxes and filed his return if filed then is he a regular defaulter or a delayed return filer or not in case the invoices are amended now there is a system this e invoice can be generated for 24 hours only it will remain in the irp portal thereafter it can be amended in anx1 now maybe certain unscrupulous suppliers are there they generate the e invoice and it reflects in your anx1 and afterwards they amend the anx1 itself in this case the revenue would get this information instantly however if there is no integrated solution which is reconciling also on a real time basis with the purchase register then there might be a question which would require some answers to be given now during assessment also the assessing officers would ask for various kinds of reconciliation like what was the original invoice what is the origin uh, what is the amended invoice of the supplier and what is your purchase register data all of this is available in the ppt you would be seeing in the slides adj adjacent to this video so a three way reconciliation is required hence friends and there are so many other data analytics and artificial intelligence tools which would be required for example the vendor has supplied to your you in west bengal but he has filed his return for you in the state of maharashtra giving your maharashtra gstn hence a pan wise reconciliation is required whereby you would see that there is a mismatch for the same invoice in maharashtra same mismatch happens in west bengal and artificial intelligence it tells you a probable match and if you match it forcibly it goes in the resolved buckets so as to give you an audit trail for the assessment period which might happen after five years or three four years of time hence the summary of what i have spoken is that in e invoices 
a real time liability figure of the dealers would be available with the commissionerates. Number two, an integrated solution of GST which gives e-way bill, e-invoices and the reconciliations based on data analytics and artificial intelligence that is a must for the next set of GST compliances. GSBs give this kind of solution. The GST Suvida providers and an enterprise solution would be one such kind of a solution. Thank you very much.